This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest, and I was telling you about this company back in August. That was the last time they were on the show. And at that time, the stock was trading a little bit below a dollar. Now it's trading around a dollar fifty-two. You could have made about 50% on your money in about four months. We're talking no other than United Cannabis Corporation. Uh, they trade on the OTC QB, ticker symbol CNAB. And with us today is the president and CEO, Ernie Blackman. Ernie, welcome back to the show. I appreciate you having me. It's good to be here. You know, give my listeners a little bit about statement of who you guys are and what you do. Absolutely. So we are a biotech company with a focus on cannabinoids. Um, we have uh, technologies based in um, not only the extractions and the use of, of, the, of the cannabinoids, but also in the production and the manufacture as well. So we're really a full service company. We're um, moving into the hemp manufacturing at this point in time in Colorado as well. And, um, and we're really helping to diversify the risk of our shareholders as well by pursuing uh, business outside the United States. Well, let's talk about your new hemp facility. What's that all about and what is that going to do for the company? Yeah, absolutely. So we were contacted by some of the companies that we actually work with in the, in the traditional cannabis space. And they mentioned to us that there was a, a need for some large-scale processing and um, white-label manufacturing in Colorado. And uh, so we did a bunch of our own research and found that, um, you know, they were absolutely right that it was an underserved market. And so we've uh, put some resources towards it, and um, we feel like we'll be full of lore probably mid-February. Uh, processing somewhere in the neighborhood of about a thousand pounds a day. Well, that's amazing. I also noticed that uh, you uh, did a press release, I, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago, and you brought on some new team members. Uh, David Watson was one, and Murray Jensen. W- what are those two gentlemen going to do for you? Yeah, so Murray Jensen actually um, is very experienced and well versed in the clinical trial area. So he will be liaisoning with not only academic institutions that we intend to work with, but also the FDA and making sure that our INDs and our protocols for our different clinical trials are are constructed properly. And also making sure that the clinical trials that we're going to do outside the United States fit the bill and will translate into what we want to do inside the United States, which is eventually bring a drug to market. Now, David Watson is a very, very interesting character. He was actually the original geneticist for GW Pharmaceuticals. And anybody who's into cannabis investing understands who GW is, and they're really the big elephant in the corner of the room. Yep. Um, so he, um, he works with us on, on actually our hip manufacturing and actually doing some genetics um, based around some hemp cultivars that we have. Wow, that's exciting. You know, speaking of uh, outside the United States, I saw that you guys entered into some sort of agreement with Australian market and Jamaica. I particularly want to talk about the Jamaica market. What is that going to bring, uh, and when is that going to bring fruit uh, to your company? Well, we are expecting something good out of Jamaica in the next four weeks, um, I would say. And what that's going to give us is an avenue to study THC in an academic environment under clinical trial conditions, and also an avenue to make and distribute our products around the world. So any jurisdiction that's allowed to import products, um, we will be able to export those products from Jamaica. We're also one of the few companies down there that have a whole suite of products already approved by their Ministry of Health and their Bureau of Standards and Measures. So um, we'll really be able to hit the ground running down there. 2016, you guys finished up around 715000 in, in revenue. Can you give us some kind of projection what, what's going to end up in 2017? Have you come up with the, the last quarter projections and the final years? Yeah, yeah, if I, had to, if I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be a little below that. Um, we had some growing pains. We had the, um, our lab in California shut down, which was our main source of revenue, for about two months while we moved to a much larger location. So we went from about 500 square feet to about 8,000 square feet. And, um, and in addition, the California market's been rather volatile this year just due to people gearing up to, um, to go into uh, – the new market that's, right. that's going on down there. So had a little bit of growing pains last year. Uh, overall, we feel like the company is um, 
much stronger than it was the year before. We, we certainly have a lot more going on than we did the year before. Uh, the revenue is just not going to, uh, to relay that fact. Well, let's talk about the California market. It came online January 1st here in 2018. Can you give us some projections of how that's going to find your bottom line and, you know, and what's that going to do for United Cannabis going forward in 2018? Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, as most people know that have, that have followed United Cannabis, we do have a partnership out there. Our chief technical officer owns a lab that actually was given its um, temporary California and uh, Oakland city licenses in order to, to be able to manufacture our products out there actually this week. So we're really excited about that. Uh, so you have a scoop there, Everett. And then, um, I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar market. I mean, it's the, it, it's, it's a top 10 economy in the entire world. It's That's the true. largest cannabis market in the world. So uh, you know, having our feet already in the, in the fire, so to speak there, um, it's just going to give us really an opportunity to develop our business plan in an unfettered way. Uh, under a regulated environment, which California hasn't had until this point in time. United Cannabis Corporation is the company that we're highlighting today here on Stock Day. Well, they trade on the OTCQB, ticker symbol CNAB. And with us today is the president and CEO of that company, Ernie Blackman. Ernie, in closing, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to touch upon that you would like to illustrate out there to the listeners? Uh, yeah, I would just like to point out that um, late last year we did receive our patents. Uh, granted by the United States Patent Office, and that covers all aqueous solutions of cannabis. So when you see tinctures on the market, when you see vape cartridges on the market, when you see liquid fill capsules on the market, that's, um, that's technology that is now inside the United Cannabis portfolio. So we actually uh, we anticipate some pretty significant um, licensing revenues in the next year or so on top of uh, making and selling our own products. So I think that would be the one thing I'd want to point out. Well, your stock's moved up 50% since the last time you've been on the show. I still think it's undervalued here at $1.52. Ernie, I want to thank you for coming on the show. You're always welcome. Hopefully you'll come back on in 40 to 50 days and give us an update about United Cannabis Corporation. You got it. I'd love to. Have a great day. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or this station.